मेरा सतगुर रखवाला हो वाहगुरु जी का खालसा वाहगुरु जी की फतेह हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ग्लासगो गुरुद्वारा गुरुद्वारा गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब सिख सभा सिचुएटेड इन द साउथ साइड ऑफ द सिटी नेक्स्ट टू ट्रामवे इन पोलक शील्ड्स ऑन अल्बर ड्राइव एस द फर्स्ट एवर परपसली बिल्ट गुरुद्वारा इन स्कॉटलैंड व्हिच वाज बिल्ट इन 2013 निशान साहिब इज अ नेम फॉर द ट्रायंगुलर सिख फ्लैग व्हिच मार्क्स ऑल गुरुद्वारास लाइक अ फ्लैग ऑफ एनी इंस्टीट्यूशन द निशान साहिब सिंबलाइजेस द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द खालसा इनिशिएटेड सिख्स एंड हेंस इज हॉस्टेड इन एवरी गुरुद्वारा a sick place of congregation anybody in need of help will be able to instantly recognize the presence of a gurdwara the flag is commonly printed or embroidered with a sick emblem kanda every gurdwara in the world has very important protocols so please be respectful to these protocols so let's take you in for a virtual tour of glasgow gurdwara gurdwara literally means the door that leads to the guru The Guru is not a person but the Sikh scripture called the Guru Granth Sahib. Our Gurdwara is the place where Sikhs come together for congregational worship. It's a place to learn spiritual wisdom. It's a place for religious ceremonies. It's a place where children learn the Sikh faith, ethics, customs, traditions and texts. Our Gurdwara is a community center and offers food, shelter and companionship to those who need it. Any caste, creed, color or religion is welcome to the Gurdwara. What is a Sikh? This word comes from the word Sisya and means disciple or a learner. Sikhs are the disciples of Vaheguru, the one God, who follow the writings and teachings of the 10 Gurus. There are nearly 30 million followers of Sikhism around the world, of which nearly 500,000 live in the UK. Sikhi is the world's youngest religion, founded over 550 years ago. by the first guru guru nanak followed by the other nine gurus guru granth sahib ji is a collection of teachings and writings of sikh gurus and several indian saints and holy people from diverse faiths and backgrounds ranging from the 13th to the 17th century the reader or the serving attendant waves a ceremonious flag jor sahib over the scripture it does not serve any utilitarian purposes but is rather a practice born out of respect for authority as was the practice with kings rulers and those with higher statuses in earlier or medieval times hukumnama a compound of two punjabi words hukum meaning commander order and nam meaning statement the hukumnama refers to a hymn from a randomly opened page from the guru granth sahib It is read daily each morning. This is seen as the order from the one god for that particular day. The hukumnama is read aloud in the gurdwara and displayed for worshippers or visitors to read through the day. Kirtan is the name given to devotional singing from the Shri Guru Granth Sahib ji. Much of the Sikh devotional service will consist of singing by singers, some full time, but many common members of the congregation. Every Sikh program will start and end with an ardas which is a personal request to God and the guru for something specific such as blessings grace peace success etc The ardas is the only part of the program which is performed standing up This is also useful in regrounding a person after they have been connecting to God through devotional singing At the end of the day the guru granth sahib ji is taken to a separate room and laid to rest. The ceremony is called sukhasan and it will consist of an ardas asking for forgiveness in anything that was said or done incorrectly. The golik is the collection box for donations from the sangat as well as visitors. The golik is usually placed in front of the guru granth sahib ji. The term seva means selfless service and everybody who enters the gurdwara must do seva. Seva could be cooking the food, helping clean, washing up, serving food to those eating and generally helping to run the gurdwara. Langar is a Sikh term used for the community kitchen in a gurdwara where a free vegetarian meal is served to all the visitors without distinction of religion, caste, gender, economic status or ethnicity. Free food is served at all gurdwaras around the world. 
the other aspect of the free community kitchen is to work as a tool for people from different backgrounds to come together to eat and reinforce that humanity is one. People usually sit and eat together and the kitchen is maintained and serviced by Sikh community volunteers. Langar was started by Guru Nanak Dev Ji, the founder of Sikhism. It's hard to believe that poverty and hunger really exists here in the UK in this day and age. The truth is, it's a growing reality. So much so that food banks are springing up all over the country. During the pandemic, Glasgow Gurdwara have been assisting hundreds of families and individuals who have found themselves in a place where they simply have nothing to feed themselves or their children. Six believe in one God. They treat everyone equally and live by the three main principles of Sikhism, Nam Japo, Girkaro and Vanshako. Nam Japo meaning be always absorbed in meditation and prayer, Girkaro meaning make an honest income by honourable methods and Vanshako meaning share your earnings and selflessly serve others. Six would always avoid five sins of ego which are lust, anger, greed, attachment and pride, which we would call Gam, Grod, Lob, Moho and Ahankar. The recognised way of practising Sikhi is the adornment of the five articles of faith, commonly known as the five Ks. They all start from the letter K in Punjabi. They are Gase, Hair, Gara, Steel Bangle, Ganga, Wooden Comb, Girpan, small sword, and kashera, long boxer shorts. Seva, the practice of selfless service, is one of the main principles of Sikhism. We can also perform seva by reducing our carbon footprints, recycling, investing in renewable energies, and being mindful about where our food comes from. Gurdwaras, as beacons of righteousness, must be eco-friendly. Our religious spaces, when in harmony with nature, will allow Sikhs to be more spiritually connected. Respect for nature is ingrained in Sikh teachings. Our first Guru, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, decreed, Pavan Guru, Pani Pita, Mata Tarat Mahat, which translates to, Air is our teacher, water our father, and the great sacred earth is our mother. If we act now, we can protect our atmosphere, water resources and earth for ourselves and our future generations. To get the internal peace, we must look after the environment we live in. Mera sat gur, ho Mera sat gur,